Okay, we are set. Perfect. All right. Hello. It is Thursday, October the 31st. Welcome to the Sumo platform meeting. Uh, today we really have a packed schedule. Uh, it's going to be really interesting, I think. So let's get started. Um, you have actions from last week. Uh, some of them were for Michael, uh, who has been really busy last week and also taking part in uh, training. So I think we are pushing these to next week, right, Michael? There's two Michaels here. Uh, 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 no, I, I'm Mike, and uh, Michael Verdi is Michael. Okay. Exactly. That's cool. <laughs> okay. So the the A B test of the short version of the update article. So what we decided to do was not an actual A B test, but just uh, shorten the article and see what happens and uh, revert it if necessary. Um, but I've just had too many other things to do. But I those things are almost done, and I will be able to do this in the next couple of days, and maybe we should know something about it by the next meeting. The other one about um, file a bug to change the indention of images. So um, it turns out actually that uh, using a semicolon instead of a colon is the real solution, and it looks great. And I created some documentation about it, although maybe it really belongs in the screenshots documentation. I'll have to think about that, but you can see it there. So. Um, and it has examples of what it looks like. It's what I would have made the bug do if I had filed the bug. So uh, I, I forget, uh, one of the contributors uh, PM'd me and let me know about the semicolon trick. I was like, ah, there we go. Perfect. Thanks. Perfect. <laughs> Even better. All right. Yep. The last one was from me. Awesome. Uh, the last actual from last week was from me posting into the forum about the related articles and related threads. And this is about removing them for now and experimenting on how we can uh, make them better. Um, the forum post is linked from the Etherpad. And uh, I don't think we have anything in this sprint, but we'll probably put that into the next sprint. We are already removing uh, hot topics and helpful roads, uh, helpful messages in this sprint, enough removing for one sprint. Uh, so this removing, removal will happen in the next. Okay, then, uh, Mike, I th uh, this is probably something uh, to discuss, right? Not an actual from the last week, the get involved short term idea? Oh, sorry. So, yes, I'm just pasting it up here. So, um, in the bug that we had the other day where we're like, we, end, we have a, a big get involved uh, banner on support.mozilla.org. Um, I can't remember if it was in, I think it's in a related bug. I posted a HTML and CSS fix. Don't take those exact, uh, of course, values as the, because I was eyeballing it. But um, I made a little mock-up of, we could just apply this short, this quick fix. It would look like this, make this banner look like you see there. Wait, oh, wait, did I link the right thing? Wait, what happened here to the Etherpad? All the stuff I wrote disappeared. I, I just moved it uh, to the discussion section. Just a little bit below that. Status updates, common notes, you mean? Yes. Oh, wait. OK, I see it. All right. Uh, right, so if you look, there's a, there's a I always wanted to uh, run this by uh, everyone, so there's the five product buttons, and then there's a white uh, section across the page, but not as tall, and it says just says help other users, and the button says get involved. And uh, that should leave enough room for localization. Like right now, if you look at the German start page, for instance, the words go underneath the image um, too long, those Germans and their long words. But um, yeah, so I thought that's a super simple, that's just a HTML and CSS change, I think, uh, as far as I know, at least. And, um, and then this was actually Rehan's idea, the long-term idea, was about putting it in the top nav, um, uh, like swapping out the place with the um, contributor tools. So if you're not in the contributor group, you get a join the contributor group 
kind of link. And if you are in the contributor group, you get the contributor tools. Um, so there is a bug filed for that and a mock-up of what it would look like if you were not logged in. All right. Feedback on that from anybody? Um, yeah, I, I think that's that's a good solution. I mean, I personally, and, and you know, just quite frankly, very egoistically speaking, because what I want to do is to grow community. I want the banner as big uh, as we can we can have it, but I understand that that could be distracting. So um, I I well, or I that it didn't think... actually get any more right visits. right right. But, but how do we know? Like based on that's what, what I, that's my point, Ricky. Why don't we can't we just A B test this? No. So well, the already... thing is. Go ahead, no, um, the issue is like, what is your success criteria here? More people clicking on the link or less people clicking on the link, fewer people clicking on the link? Because you don't know people who click on that. My, they my click success on it because criteria is conversion rates. People who click right. on the link and who uh, register as contributors. That's my success criteria. Right, but do, they, do those people actually want to be contributors or is it because we've made it so obvious now that they go there? Then the other thing is, um, do we take away people who would otherwise go to a support article? It's really hard to, so um, I, I, I have another point to talk about this, like why it's so hard to decide whether this is a net win or a net loss. It's really hard. Um, I, I don't know if a good method not for now, um, but yeah, so, so. And what but you I'm also saw was that we didn't get any more clicks on the Yeah, that's on the, the other thing. That's the other thing. Like, uh, you can make so, a... I mean, oh, we, you have one, tested one, it. One second. I, I need to understand this here because like, well, I hear like different things. So have, you, have we tested it? And if we have, what have we tested? And what is the result of that test? Because that I don't know right now. So that's what I'm saying. Like, that's really hard. What, what exactly, like, what is your success criteria here? That's the difficult thing to first decide on. So what we have tested is visitor. And then, yeah, so for us, it's people who click and then they do something else on the Get Involved page, they register, for example. Yes, uh, that's but cool. We but we that, right? But that, that's your success criteria, but is it the success criteria? Of, because like, you could remove everything else from that page and leave only the call to action there. Then uh, the links to that or the clicks to that page, the Get Involved page would go up and probably a lot more people would uh, sign up via email. We have the email link there. But is that really the best thing for the website to happen? Like, are those really people who want to get involved? or? Did we make it so obvious for them or was it now the obvious thing to do like to click on that link because it's the biggest thing like that, that that's the like when you um, drive it to the extremes then you see it's not that obvious just because you have more clicks on the button doesn't mean that it's necessarily better uh, because well, the but overall, but the overall we're goal of the about... page is yeah. Sorry, it's just because we're not talking about clicks we're talking about conversion rates so I think that's something we haven't looked at isn't it? So what I'm saying is let's right. do, let's have, let's make a test, well, you know, well, where yeah. you guys test the things and, 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 and we can just see how many clicks we have. I don't have anything against so, getting rid of it. I just want so to see here, more data. What Kadir is saying that even conversion rate is not necessarily the success metric because like he's saying, you could remove all links on the page and only leave this one, this one link. Then probably all, <laughs> unless the people bounce, they're going to click the link. So that's one part of the success, right? So if we're sending all of our traffic to the Get Involved page, then we, uh, maybe we will increase the amount of people who convert and join the contributor group. But are those honest Michael, joining the I, I contributor groups yeah. or that's the only option we gave them so they did it, right? No, How can you I, even tell? Well, that's the whole point. But I mean, let's design a test that actually let us know if that's, you know, if we're really distracting so many people or if we're getting more contributors. That's, that's, well, that's so what I'm saying. So we already know that lots of people join the contributor group who are not contributors. It happens hundreds of them every day. Yeah, I know that we have a lot of people, but still, I mean, also, you know, from that link, we have a lot of uh, very good contributors that are joining and that, that are, you know, doing a lot of sure. work. And I know it because I can track it from the, from the body form, right? Okay, uh, so 
So and and if you're talking about contributors, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, if you look at any marketing funnel, you know that the, the amount of people that you need until you get actually people converted is very, very big, right? Yeah, I agree. No argument here. So, so the issue, look, okay, we have data. We have some data. We, have, we know how many people are clicking on the link to, to get on the Get Involved page. The call to action, changing it from the little button to the big one, didn't increase the number of visits. Um, what we can look into is whether it increased the number of people who clicked on, I want to get involved. But then you would have to go further. Like you would have to look like, because that only gets you to the form. And then on the form, you have to sign up. And then once you have signed up, you have to activate your account. And then you have to go onto the body form. Uh, so that, that's the thing that I linked to, uh, which is actually the last item on the etherpad, uh, the workflow for contributors, like what does it look like today? Uh, for each of those steps, we should actually be measuring our conversion rates. Um, and we are not doing that uh, today. So we don't know how well are we actually doing with our conversions. Like, are these well, actually good things? Because that's what like, I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm even saying. I'm saying let's, let's have a test where we measure the conversion rate and not only the visits. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So what I'm proposing is that we change the banner so that it's more in line what, with what we've had on the page and what the website was designed for. And we can also measure conversion rate all the way to, to the very end. Um, and then if we want to come up with how do we increase that conversion rate? Then let's come up with how we increase that vert conversion rate. But let's not start with, with um, trying to do it on this big banner that was never intended to be on this page. The thing is, we, we can still do A-B testing with a banner once we have the infrastructure set up to actually measure these things, because th that is not a uh, five minute thing to set that up uh, for the whole funnels here. Okay. And that's what we would need to do. Okay, so I mean, I'm okay with making the banner smaller. I think that's fine. I just don't want it like just removed to the top of the, because I think that's really not very visible to, you know, get involved uh, on the top. I think that's a, a spot that not a lot of people see. No, no, no. So that's the, that would be in addition and that would be on every page okay. of the thing on but, the top. Okay. But we're gonna, we're gonna make like a flux like animating there so people will wanna click on it. Like, there you go. Yeah, yeah. it's like click, click on me, here. Save the world. <laughs> It, it should have sound. It should have sound. Yeah, and there should be then, sound. And then when you put your mouse should, over it, it starts moving around, so you can't click on it. The flames on his tail should be flaming, <laughs> right? So I what does the fo what does the fox say again? Like, oh, that's the that. sound that should play. The music, the song should play too. I'm confused. Oh what do we have now? Is there a get involved now in that page? It's the save the world from the comfort of your couch banner. There's yeah. a banner that says save the world from the comfort of your couch. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, and we are yeah, going to put in its place the smaller banner as a short-term solution. Yes. Okay. So Everybody okay idea. with that? But it's not going to have like any, um, it's going to be without a, a comic or whatever, uh, the graphic, <laughs> yes. the cartoon thing or whatever. How do you call that? Illustration? So you think the illustration would be very, uh, you know, would just make people So the main, the main point It, it just doesn't page make a difference. Is, like it doesn't right but also it's the thing about the main point of the page the main point of the page is to get help with a product yeah. that's right 99 plus percent of people who right. land on the page this is the the task they're trying to complete and and so having the banner be the biggest call to action on the page doesn't make sense i'm hearing from kadir that it doesn't really make a difference right does it if for visit for visitor rate uh, for for clicks for uh, visitor numbers it doesn't make a difference that's true um i think this was the aesthetic part of it like but it, it, at that point like uh i, I think a compromise should be really easy to find because it just doesn't right. make a difference <laughs> like, okay uh, but still we could get... have the the fox a smaller fox right i mean I mean, if it doesn't really make a difference, that's what I'm hearing here. It doesn't really make a difference. Well, well, so it sounds like the first thing that we should do is get data, like set up the, the better tracking. No, and then don't see, see, this is what I'm no. saying. This is what I'm saying. We shouldn't, because here's the thing. This shouldn't have been live to begin with, right? So please, let's modify it, and then let's get data, because the data we've collected so far says it's not helping. It's well, not well, hurting, well, but it's not it's helping. Not 
so, so like at, at this point, I think that the best thing to do is stop changing things until you have more data. Because so, no. obviously the data so, you have not, uh, I really want to vehemently disagree with that because the thing okay. is the website was designed all, we've already we've already done a ton of research about this page and the way to design it. And what we designed was a very small call to action for get involved. The thing that I just showed you as a mock-up, as a compromise, is already about five times the size of the original call to action on that page that this thing was designed for that we did research for. So that's why I feel like stalling to get m m more but data Michael, on I think what my, this thing that we yeah. have right now, I think we should just, we should yeah. put it back. My, my, and now, they told and us at Summit go. that Sumo had to bring in one million Sumozillions for next year. <laughs> How are we going to do it without saying free popcorn or something? Well, you know what, we can, we can talk about that uh, as the last item here because that's exactly what I want to talk about. And uh, Michael, I think what Mike meant was that we shouldn't have changed it in the first place without having right. data. Um, yeah, look, like, like, I think changing okay. things without data is a bad idea. In, in, yes. In, in, yes. And uh, uh, Ricky already called it uh, scope creep. That's also true because the only goal was to remove things from the page, not add to them. Um, but it happened like the layout was, it looked like shit uh, when, we, yeah. when we removed one item from that thing. Uh, so to balance it out, we had to do something. Um, and yes, it would have been better to do that with data. Um, and we should set up that. That's what I want to talk about as last item. We should set up that infrastructure so that we can okay. make even decisions like that with data. Okay, so I, I still have one point. So if I'm hearing right that it doesn't really make a difference, that means that still the same amount of people are clicking from what we've seen so far, right? So right. it means that we could, with a smaller fox, with something that's less, less visible, we could still run some tests and check out what the conversion rates are, right? That's what I've been saying. Okay, yeah. and then we can get the, like a smaller box. It's just no, no, uh, Mike, Michael. What you're saying is uh, just the button and the white background. But uh, uh, Rosanna is saying is a smaller version of what's currently on the website. Rosanna, yes, we can do that. The thing is, it just doesn't make a difference at this point. Um, so, it, as far as we can tell, uh, so the, it could make a difference the, in terms of contributions. You know, like yes, that's we what we should be data. testing. Exactly. That's, That's what I'm saying. I'm just saying let's test it. That's all I'm but saying. We, we can't do it today because we don't have the infrastructure for that. Sure. So uh, let's wait for it, but let's test it when we have the infrastructure. Yes. Sure. Sure. As a short-term solution, uh, uh, what Michael is saying is as a short-term solution, we should roll back and do the text-only thing. And then we can, once we have the infrastructure, we can test with a big fox or even a gigantic fox. Right? No, no. Or a video no, no. or a something. Yeah. yeah. With salsa lessons from Florida. All right, so we are all on the same page then. Perfect. <laughs> okay, I, I'm writing this me? down as a decision then. All right. Um, facial expressions are the best, Mike. So it's worthwhile coming to a meeting just for. You're right. Here, just just a, a, like a question. Do, do you think? Do you have an idea of how long would it take to get the whole conversion uh, test? Uh, I mean, the, the conversion data to set that up. No. Unfortunately not. This was one of my goals uh, in the third quarter. I wanted to work on contributor flows and see um, like how can we measure them and what are they actually. And unfortunately, uh, the persona thing and the helpfulness report came in between and I had to drop that. Um, okay. So now I'm doing it on the side, uh, but I'm not sure when I will be finished for that. Um, mm -hmm. This is a short quarter, but this is one of actually one of my side priorities outside of my goal. Okay, is it, is it on and Google I would Analytics? Like to talk about it. No, uh, like nothing yet. Uh, so that's okay. um, it's difficult, but I we will be talking about that as the last item here. Okay, good. It's on the agenda. I I, I want to talk about that. Okay, but writing down the um, decision here that we will. As the short term solution, we'll go with the text only um, CTA on the start page. So um, I'm also writing down that we will set up structure. The bug asked uh, about sorry. removing the news, but um, we just added tracking to those to the news clicks uh, yesterday or, or today. 
so that that bug it shouldn't get anything else beyond that like just just let's change the cta and then we can deal with the rest and other bugs uh, i would yeah. also like to remove the news uh, but uh, let's just do that in another bug once okay, we have data about that. how many people are even looking at that like the thinking that we had for the news items was some, somebody has to actually update those news items and then they have to be localized uh, so it's a lot of work for a lot of people and we don't even know if any is using it like if only a few people are using it then it doesn't even matter whether they are happy with it or unhappy with it it might not be worth the effort at all we can get uh, do away with it uh, so that's what the tracking is about okay can we move on to uh, the awesome show for us? Yes, please. Uh, I'm just writing here, but please already start. Uh, OK, Mike, you want to? Can't hear you. Yes, OK, sorry. Um, so for some background, uh, right now I'm working on a bug to add Firefox OS support to show for. Um, as some of you may know, the code for show for is not exactly very nice. Um, so what I've ended up doing um, is I'm is I'm rewriting Show4 from scratch. Um, <laughs> Oops. Well, well um, mainly because the old Yay. system uh, wasn't really able to deal with having multiple mobile OSs. It just it would have been really hard to shoehorn them. Okay. Uh, so I have two links in the Etherpad. The first link is a demo showing the logic of the new Show4. It should be the same as the old one. I just want to make sure that it, that it is. Um, so if you click that link, um, what you'll see is on the left is a big text box. In the middle, there is the output of that text box. And on the right side, there is the, uh, the new show for our controls. Cool. Um, and if you're at a loss for what to type in that box, the second link is the like torture test of show for that I've been using for my development. <laughs> Um, and right now, it's, it's not really show for, it's not showing and hiding things. It's just turning them red or green, so you can see what's going on. Um, so I'd like it if you guys can play with this and look at it and make sure the logic is what you would expect and what is already there, and that it supports everything that we do in articles. So I have a question, Mike. Okay, Roland. Um, Thunderbird, uh, how hard would it be for you or Sankus? to make this work with Thunderbird versions? Um, I don't know who Sankus is, but oh, the way I designed... Oh, web dev. Okay, yeah. Uh, so, so, so the way I designed this, um, Thunderbird should be pretty easy to add. Um, I, I definitely thought of that. Um, like, I, I haven't looked deeply into it, but it might be as little as changing something in the admin. Okay, I will point you, I will point Sankus to the bug and to this prototype. Second question, okay. different versions of WebMaker, it'll eventually handle that, right? Um, if there are different versions of WebMaker, that is totally doable. Uh, as far as I know, there's only one version of WebMaker, yeah. so, yeah, yeah. Have, so it, it doesn't show versions. Okay. It's just like um, it's hackable to add new products and new versions. Yes, it's very yeah, much the current system, which is a ball of mud. Okay, yeah. awesome. Yeah, Roland, we were talking about Thunderbird before. Um, yeah. I, we, we kept that in mind. Uh, and then, Michael, I think you had a question. Yeah, I have a question. So it looks like it, what it doesn't do right now is, um, well, I haven't tested all the things. I was playing around with it, and it's a little confusing, so I'll keep playing around with it. But the one thing I think so far that I found that it doesn't do or doesn't do correctly is doesn't do, so we'll write, for instance, if you wanted to write something for Firefox 25, well, you would write it for FX 25, right? That would be your tag. And then that would display for Firefox 25 and above. And right, right. now, uh, it, it, know, it should it should be doing that. No, it displays for all versions. So if you show version 24, 23, ESR, whatever, it's green. So mm, I just did like a full. Is uh, it's? Oh like, wait, it's sorry. Um, yeah. So for some reason, the logic is backwards in this. Let me make sure that this is the latest version of the code. Give me just two shakes. It's sure. working for me. Um, so, 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 
Michael, like, it's the red and green thing. It will show everything. Right. Well, no, 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 no. He's actually uh, right. There is a problem with it right now. Okay. Um, so apologies for this. Um, what, what's the problem? I mean, what? Uh, you made uh, a mistake implementing the re-implementing all of the show for code? What? How could you do uh, that? It's so easy. <laughs> I love your humor, Michael. <laughs> I can't imagine how how freaking co it's so complicated to think about. Forget yep. about write the code. Come on. Yeah. Um, so if you refresh the page, that's the latest version that I've been testing with. So if that's uh, still broken, I definitely need to need to look at that. Um, yes, I refresh the page and I still get green. So I'm. So here I'm gonna put in, for instance, this is my simple test in pound sumo, right? Okay. So I, I put this in and I change the okay. Firefox selector to something below 25, 24, 23, or 17, and it still shows up in green. Okay. Um, but that's right, yeah. right? No, no, it, it, the logic is backwards right now. It's doing uh, less than or equal to instead of greater than or equal to. That oh, should be, yeah, I, I need to yeah. fix. Uh, I'll write that down and that'll get fixed. Okay, that was the one. That was the th that and defaults. Like it doesn't seem to have a sense right. of yeah, what the uh, default yeah, is. Yeah, there's no sense of what. Uh, there is a set of defaults. Um, I think it defaults to Windows 8 and like Firefox 26, um, and Firefox OS 1.1 and Android. Oh, it 26. does. Okay. Um, but but it doesn't try and do any detection of what the user has. Right. Um, that's my next step. Um, okay, yeah. But yeah, this definitely. Is very uh, cool, Mike. Thank you. Um, yeah, and th this may look like a wiki editor. It only supports show for it. can't do any other syntax. It's very, very <laughs> s stupidly simple. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, so definitely to take this, play with it, make sure that it corresponds to what you expect it to. Uh, and, and give me feedback. That would be really great. That's awesome. Cool. I'll keep playing with that. That was the only thing I saw. Other, other yeah, let us know when you so far to work implement right. the less than, uh, what is it, when you flip the logic? Yeah, uh, I'm actually as soon as I as soon as I'm done talking, I'm going to mute and go fix that and then <laughs> back because it really is. It should be very simple. Okay. Awesome. All right. Yeah. Thank you for that, Mike. Cool. Um, so also, we'll um, just to clarify, um, so if if an article is marked for Firefox, so say an article is only Firefox desktop, it'll only let you select the Firefox desktop, right? Right. Yeah. And, if, um, and so, so if you have like sync that applies to multiple, then you have to um, tag those, like assign them in the back end to to apply that, you know, to the multiple. Yeah, you, you only see show for for things that apply to the article. Which is uh, also very cool. Yes, because right now, like, yeah, right now it's left to Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wow. Perfect. Love it. Absolutely. Cool. Yeah. That's gonna be I awesome. love that too. This, really I mean, work. like I said in the bug, this is the thing that, like, I think we've wanted from the very beginning. But yeah, it requ and, and, required so much stuff to have been built before this was possible that it was always yeah. like. Um, too and, and, and like right now, like instead of filing a, a new bug every six weeks uh, for new Firefox versions in Show4, uh, we can go into the admin and add a, add a new object. Yeah, yeah. it's the, 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 that was the thing I started with. Um, I, I knew that would be so helpful. Awesome. By the way, we need to uh, switch ESR to 24 from 17. Uh, isn't 17 still supported for six more weeks? Is it? I, thought, I, think, uh, I think it Oh, you're right. It because is, they need some time to transition two, from 17 to 24. Yeah, there's a two release overlap. You're right. Yeah. So when 25 comes out, 17 will be, will be dead. No, 26. You, right. You, yeah. when, the, when the next version comes out. Yes. Uh, okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks again, Mike, for this. This is really awesome. This is really even like just great to look at, but it will be even better to to use on the site. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, thanks a lot for that. Cool. Cool. Then let's um, move on uh, to the next one, which is support for ARM statuses. Uh, so this is something that we've been talking about for a long time. It came out of the um, forum report. Um, but in the meantime, uh, there were some, some changes that we wanted to make, uh, and it involves um, help desk. Uh, so, oh, now, now we have lost 
uh, Patrick, it seems like. What? Bad timing. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to let him there talk about it. Uh, Patrick, there you are. Cool. Uh, so I'm not sure, Patrick, if you want to want to take this or uh, uh, I can talk about this to you. Wh uh, whatever sure. you would prefer. All so, right. so we've, uh, Madalena, Kadir, and I have been sitting around talking about uh, forum statuses. Um, one of my Q4 goals is to uh, kind of bridge the gap of the that last, you know, three to five percent of users on on the forums who uh, are going unanswered. Um, so this is kind of the first step in that process. Um, we add some statuses uh, that will allow us to uh, take action on on. Uh, certain forum posts when they're tagged certain ways. So, um, you know, contributors can use these tags to either escalate things to the, to the help desk or, uh, you know, people who don't have as much experience on the forum can use them to escalate and other contributors who feel more comfortable uh, with tackling those hard issues can jump on those. Uh, but we can also use it to, um, we've kind of discovered these other uses for it, like uh, calling attention to contributors uh, when the original poster says this thing didn't work. Um, so we can bring that thread back to their attention and they can go back and try some other things to help out that user. So. Right, so the first step that we are taking and it's already in the sprint is that uh, anything uh, that is uh, tagged as escalated will automatically be sent to the, Zen, uh, to, to the help desk so that anybody from help desk can get involved in the forums. So we're not moving anything out of the forum, uh, to, be, to be sure. Everything is still happening in the forum, uh, but it will be um, easier for help desk that way to, to know what's, what, what needs their attention at that point. Um, so that's already happening in this sprint, um, but there is more to come. Uh, so what we want to do is uh, how, uh, some, somewhat automate uh, tagging and untagging because we need those tags to display, as uh, Patrick said, uh, threats in a, in a certain manner. For example, threats that need our attention uh, need to be presented in a way that people know which ones they are. Uh, currently, it's just all mixed up, so you can't tell which threat needs your attention. Um, so this is coming up. Uh, there is a there is a, a, a Google Doc uh, or, or I don't know what it's actually called uh, a drawing um, linked uh, from the Etherpad that shows the workflow for this. Like how would threads uh, transition into statuses and out of statuses? And right now we are thinking of those statuses as tags. Uh, might change. Uh, that's an implementation detail. We don't know, but um, for now we are thinking about att um, attaching uh, tags to threads to uh, transition them from one status to another status. And in each status, something happens with the, tag, uh, with the thread. Either the help desk gets involved, or we display it in a certain manner, or we don't display it anymore. Um, so, so these things are still being uh, defined in the Etherpad for um, in the 303, but I should probably also link from here. Uh, add it to the Etherpad. And yeah, I already started filing the bugs. Uh, the first one was the escalated uh, bug, but I'll also be filing the bugs for those other statuses so that we can get working on them uh, in the next few sprints. Um, and, yeah, and again, this is, this is part of the initiative to increase our uh, solve rate in the forums. Our target goal was 35% but hopefully we can get higher than that. So these are just Sumo normal Sumo tags that have special meanings in the software? For right. now. So that, that, but that's an implementation detail. I just wanted to mention right. that because that's our thinking currently. If things are uh, hard to do that, that way, um, then we might do it differently. Um, but we, these are the statuses that we need to know what's going on in the forum um, okay. and uh, to be able to show people different parts of the forum, so to say. Um, I just wanted to those, make it clear that for now we think it's not going to be a separate status field. It's just a, a tag. Right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Also because it's we the could, easiest thing to do uh, because tagging already exists. There is a lot of infrastructure around tagging like RSS feeds. 
So you could, for example, just subscribe to the escalated RSS feed and you would get all of those things like contributors who are really interested in uh, working only on those forum, uh, like, and, and that was um, uh, Patrick's idea. Like people who are interested in like second level support, so to say, like they don't want to get those easy questions, but the hard questions, they can just uh, subscribe to the escalated tag and uh, they will get those uh, tag qu uh, questions in their RSS reader and can, can work on them if they're interested in it. And of course they can follow along with what help desk is doing uh, for those threads um, because everything is still going to happen in the forum. All right, um, yeah, that was just information, uh, but also if you have feedback, um, we, we already talked about most of this when we talked about the forum report and what's happening and uh, what, what the statuses are of those threats. Uh, so I hope that we captured input from everybody for this already. But on top of this, now we have help desk involved, which will be, will be even better, I think. So I'm really excited about this. Me too. Yes, 100% solved great in one hour. Soon. <laughs> Coming soon. <laughs> Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, if there are no, if, if there's no feedback for that, we can move on uh, to the last item uh, on the agenda today, and that's the contributor journey map. So if you click through to that, this is very crude, um, and I just spent uh, today on on doing exactly this thing, um, but. Uh, what it does is uh, it, it displays in a very crude way how people are moving uh, from one uh, page to the to the next when when they are contributors or what are the touching points for contributors and how do we move them along uh, what are the funnels that we have for them currently uh, what is that um, and this is what what I came up with so as far as I can tell this is complete but I might be wrong uh, because there are so many of them uh, that I might have missed uh, one or more funnels or starting points. Um, so I should have missed, if I missed anything, it, I probably missed starting points because in the end they all, they all lead into the same funnels. Um, yeah, so if there is anything, please let me know. Please have a look at this. Uh, but, but essentially uh, what I wanted to do is just map visually going on for contributors and then decide on our end first decide is this the funnel that we want to have like is this the thing that that makes sense for us uh, do we want to go forward with this as it is and if yes then we should start uh, measuring uh, those conversation uh, conversion rates um, so like uh, for example the first conversion rate would probably be how many people are clicking on those um, get involved uh, buttons but then the next one is probably how many visitors um, actually sign up and from those who sign up, how many actually end up doing something? And then um, we, we, it will be great to be able to go back and see from a contributor uh, when we go back, like what funnel did, did they actually take, if that is possible. Uh, so because otherwise right now, we don't have any idea what our conversion rate is. But looking at the uh, user numbers that we have, the visitor numbers, we have about 20, 20 million visitors, unique visitors per month. If we had a conversion rate of uh, uh, 0.0001%, then we would have about uh, uh, 2,000 new contributors uh, every month, actual contributors. And that's clearly not the case because otherwise we would be totally overrun with actual contributors. Um, so that tells me that we should be working on those conversion rates and see if that, like, I don't know where we will end up with that. Um, it, it might be that we can improve them in a way that um, gets, them, gets them to a level where we are happy with it because we're getting lots of contributors who actually want to contribute. Or we figure out that, you know, Sumo is really not a good site to be advertising for this. And there might be other places to advertise, like, Maybe we should be uh, buying Google Ads, uh, like AdWords, uh, because they have a bigger conversion rate than what we have on Sumo. Um, I, I, I have no idea, but I would say we should keep this very open-ended. But we can only make decisions like that when we actually have the data. Um, 
So that's what I would be proposing that we, we make this, um, like it's not a goal for this quarter, but I think it's important enough that we should be working on it. Um, so, and the first step to that is to decide whether these are the funnels that we actually want to have now that it is visually mapped out. Um, um, Kadir, just, just, I mean, like, um, because Madeline and I, we work on those funnels and, um, yes. uh, I mean, you can find the same structure when we, when we did the rework and we changed the whole, uh, um, you know, the, the, the way things looked and, and, and the steps that people have to, to go through. Um, right. I actually, I actually think that what we're missing is a way of measuring this thing. I mean, um, well, that's, that's right cool. now like we're also we thinking, yeah, no, no, just let me finish. Uh, right yes, now sir. we're also thinking about uh, changing the, the contributor form and finding other ways to measure um, the people who actually come and sign up and how, how, how do we track that because we don't have a way of tracking that. So we've been trying with the Google Docs uh, because that's what we have. Um, that's not working very well, so we're thinking about other other ways uh, on the body program side. Um, I mean, up until now, it has been very hard to track what con you know the, the, those conversion rates. So I think the first thing before like rethinking the whole funnel, which was just uh, implemented, I think that you, I mean, we need to have a way of just measuring, right? Well, yes, we could start measuring these things, but if they are not even what we want, then that would be pointless. But it's so. What do you mean that, that they're not what, what we want? That's for you to decide, not not for me. Like um, because we we didn't have like this visual mapping uh, so far. Like, but, but if this I mean, is like for me, some of these things were a little bit surprising. Uh, but if they weren't surprising for you and you're happy with those flows, then we can start measuring right away. Um, well, the thing is, like, if you are not happy with them, then we should rather make the change that you actually want and then start measuring them. Well, Does that make sense? That we uh, yeah, but the thing is that I mean, like, uh, I think these these things are pretty clear. I mean, when we when we did the whole rework and we changed the layout of the pages, we introduced the three steps. The three steps aren't the same uh, for each contribution area. There's a rational behind, uh, you know, the fact that the three steps are different. That we sometimes only link to uh, uh, documentation. That we sometimes link to the forum or to Army of Awesome. So I mean, th those are things that we thought about when we implemented them. Um, so it's not that we don't want them. I think that it is great if we can measure that. Um, but, but of course, I mean that 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 whole um, those whole paths were th thought of when Madeleine and, and I looked at those pages and started thinking about how we get people to those pages. Um, yeah, but there are also things I'm not sure if you really want to have that. Like on the normal registration page, it says if you want to be a contributor, sign up. But it's not even leading to a contribution funnel. Well, that, that was your, your solution for marking people as contributors, right? No, no. And then they uh, get, no, 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 but, but, but Kadir, when you sign up there, then you get an email. Um, no, you, know, the, you don't If get you sign email. up as a contributor, you have to, uh, uh, you get the email and you get the link to the, um, to the body form. See, that's what I meant. Like, if you look at the flow here, you will see that if you click on sign up and it says, as a contributor, uh, like if you're a contributor, sign up here. Um, yeah. Like, what does it say exactly? Let me see. Um, it says, uh, register to be a contributor on the, like, you can see that today. If you go to this, uh, Sumo, click on sign in register, and there is this yeah. big thing, register to be a contributor. Yeah. It's not sending out emails. Uh, that's not a contributor flow. That's that's signing up as a normal user. Why? Because that's the normal registration page. But Kadir, like, you even have a screenshot of the email that we send out. Thank you for your interest in Mozilla Technologies. Thank you that you want to help. And then we, we we list the things that they can do, and we also link them to the contributor to the body forum. Right. That's no. the bottom flow. He's talking yeah. about the top one. The top one you register, you get the email saying verify your account, and then you come to a stop. So you mean that when you click on the top one, sign in register? Yes. If you yeah. register, then nothing happens. You don't get an email. Exactly. You don't get a thank you for registering but, email. Uh, okay, so, but I think that that's a problem because I mean, when we implemented this whole thing, the, the flow was supposed to be the same for both sides. I don't know why it comes to a full stop. I think that was a problem, the implementation. Yeah, I'm not seeing the difference between, so you have these two long flows, right? And, mm -hmm. and one says account successfully verified, the one on top, and has a big black bar after that. The other <laughs> one has the exact same screen below it. It says account successfully verified, and then that person got an email that then 
gets them to right. the rest of the flow. So I'm not understanding the difference, actually. So the top one, it doesn't get the last email that actually leads them to the other flows. Why? Well, because it's not there. Like they're just but not getting that because they're the signing other up as a normal it? user. Isn't it the so, same page? So the, the pages, they look the same. They are not the same. Well, uh, okay, but like, that's oh. something that went the, wrong in the implementation phase, I think, because they were supposed to be only the, the, the flow uh, underneath. So I yeah, think that, 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 that went wrong in implementation. Yeah, that looks like a bug to me. Yeah, no, exactly. the same. So that's no, not a not flow. Not necessarily, because if you are a normal person and you come to, uh, you, you sign on uh, register because you want to uh, comment on something in the forum, for example, that happens a lot. People uh, want to post something in the forums uh, or like answer somebody in the forums or comment on something like, I have this problem too, or yes, uh, I have a solution or something like that. They sign up um, and at that point, uh, they, they go to this top thing and they want to sign up as a normal. Yes, right, like but, the, the, but the bug but we've is the problem, the UX problem is it says register to be a contributor and that's a lie and that we, exactly. that's a bug. That's not a design yeah, exactly. flow. That's a, that's, yeah, come on. Really absolutely. No, yeah. so absolutely. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Like, but that, that's what it is today. Like, we probably won't, okay. don't want to have it like this today. Well, right. we just because file a bug, right? But there is also more. Like, for example, you signed up now and you are being part of the forum, and then you get this email in the forum that says at the bottom, um, help other users. Uh, so get involved and help other users. Uh, because, uh, uh, what does it say exactly? Like, it's the first step. Um, the top, very top left. It yep. says, uh, you get the email, uh, somebody answered to your question or somebody answered in the, in the thread that you're watching. And then at the bottom it says, help other Firefox users by browsing for unsolved questions. And then if you click on that, that's exactly what happens. Uh, you land on the forum. There is, oh, we should take you to the point, register as a contributor thing. Exactly. So you probably want to register as a contributor at that point because otherwise we don't even know that you are a contributor now. Uh, you're not su supposed to be one, right? Because if you remove that, like if you go to the ask a question flow, you don't become a contributor. And if you click on that link to help people, then we also don't tell you what you can do because at that point you should probably get the buddy uh, form uh, so that we can match you with somebody else and stuff like so, that. So Kadir, what you're proposing is we should fix all of these things and then start measuring as opposed yes. to start measuring before fixing these things that we know are obviously not work right. Right, exactly. So that's what I meant, like that the first step should be that we look at this and decide whether these are the uh, correct flows or change them and then we start measuring uh, what we actually want to have. Kadir, one thing that I don't understand uh, is how, I mean, when we did this, this email thing, why didn't we point to the same page? I mean, it's just weird that this happened. I don't because understand. Other no, because it doesn't make I sense. Think to, that it, everybody I'm thought not, everything would point to the same thing. I don't think we thought about that that way because that would mean that there is no way to register as a normal user. There is only a way to register as a contributor if you do that. You register as a normal user in the ask a question flow, right? Yeah, that, but uh, that's part of the ask a question flow. But if you want to sign in to comment on something in the forums, there would be no way. You would have to register as a contributor. So maybe that's what we so want. So we can fix but that, that's right? Yeah. But I mean, those are. I mean, to me, those sounds like bugs, like implementation bugs. Something got implemented and you it's know. It's not an implementation bug. It, it's a. It's a decision that we have to make. Do we want to let people sign up without being a contributor, or do we uh, expect them to be contributors? So we let uh, we uh, move them through the whole flow. Like, just imagine the scenario which happens every day, very often. People see your forum post because it's linked from Google. They go to the forum post and they want to leave a comment. Either uh, they have a solution for that specific thing or they want to ask something that is related. Um, so they, they sign up, they go to the top of the page, they sign up to be able to comment on that forum post. At that point, right now, they sign up as a normal user, even though the registration uh, page says sign up as a contributor. Right. So you do need we like want two to, things there or something. I just want to comment. Do we want to I allow want to that? Yes. Do we want to allow that even? 
or do we assume that everybody who signs up signs up as a contributor anyway or should sign up as a contributor anyway and then yes then we only have one flow but that is not an implementation but that that is something that we have to decide whether we want to do that or not does that make sense okay I understand. Um, I'm just stunned. <laughs> stunned? <laughs> I'm seriously stunned. Okay. Yeah, anyway, go ahead. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I, I went through all of these flows, uh, went through all of them to and uh, put them on this page exactly because even I, I had no idea, to be honest, like in my head, I had a hard time to visualize this. Um, so after doing that, it, it feels to me like a lot of this is intentional, but there are also things that are not intentional. So we should fix them, uh, decide on them, and then uh, start measuring them. So if you, if you guys are cool with that, I, I would start planning this out, and um, we could start doing that. And this, of course, goes uh, mostly to uh, Madeleine and Rosanna. Yeah, well, but, I mean, the thing is that, that to me, and you know, from my understanding, we had the, 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 the flow that was below, right? That was my idea. That's what we proposed. That's the flow that we have when we, when we design it. And it seems yeah. to be that it wasn't implemented all across. The thing is that I can't, I, I don't know all the, you know, all, all the corners of the website. So for me, it's kind of hard to know that this, this wasn't implemented the way it was supposed to be. And then we see this flow. So I'm just wondering if there's a way of, you know, seeing this before it happens or, you know, because I mean, I just assume that the, 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 the flow uh, um, below was the only flow that we had in terms no, of no, registers. No, we've always had the register button at the top of this. I, I think uh, there might be confusion on, on this uh, on this workflow here because it's all together. So like, if yeah, you like, click on sign in from any page of the site that's not the contributor um, that get involved, uh, then, then we shouldn't sign people up as, as a contributor. Right, right? Ricky, so the bug is if you is that it shows to, that yeah, yeah it, it shows to be today. a contributor. So th that's the bug. Uh, well, it, sorry, go ahead. And like, because right now it's obviously wrong. Like, it, we're lying to users right now. Um, so if we just remove the to be a contributor part from that page, then we are no longer lying to users. Which I think would that would be a very it should be a fairly simple thing, and B we should do that. Yes, but then we make the decision um, that right. the only way to sign up as a contributor is to click on the get involved buttons and then go through that flow. For the moment, we could fix that also. But what Mike's saying is like just make that one text change on that one page so that it's not totally. Yeah, fine. yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, and, and, and then there's the decision it. of should it be this way. Exactly. Right. right. Um, and an easy solution for that would be just adding a, a selector that says, do you want to contribute? Do I just want to comment on the form? Um, right. So, so one problem with that is like if, if there's like a checkbox that says, mm -hmm. you know, be a contributor, a lot of users will just blindly check all the, all the boxes because gotcha. so, they expect it to be required. Yeah. Um, so like I think there's some UX problems there that we'll have to deal with, but uh, oh. I definitely think that something like that would be a good idea. Oh yeah, there are lots of UX problems with that. We already uh, tried stuff like that. Like people yep. will select themselves as contributors probably because they think they will get better help that way. Uh, yeah. But that might be one of the reasons why, why the contributor group has several 10,000 people in them at this point. Self-selected. <laughs> but yeah, yeah what I, what uh, I, what anyway, what I we should make I dec decisions like that. Yeah, I don't understand. It's just why there's two different flows for uh, the same text boxes, which says sign up as a contributor. That's um, it's a mystery to me. Right, right. So they're actually two different boxes. Like the the pages are actually different. They look identical, but yeah. in the code they are different. They have, uh, why is so? Because uh, I, because we have this idea of you can register as not a contributor or register as a contributor. For an intention. Right. Um, and we just are not communi communicating that to the users right now. So the code understands that, and just the users do not. Right. Yeah. So I, like, that's the current state. I'm not saying that's how it should be. I'm just saying that's what's going on. OK. So the decision so, I mean, is to be made, Rosanna, is should we have two flows like this, one for contributors, one for normal users? Or should we say, you know, if you sign up, you have to sign up as a contributor? 
and then we do the whole thing. For example, um, but that those are decisions that we have to make. Um, so far, we had two different flows, but now we are lying. The country is well, I, I think we need just need to be clear. If you want to be a, a contributor, then there's just one flow. And if you're just asking a question, there's just one flow. That's, that's but, why right. I don't so, understand. So basically, I think what, right, what but we there's need a to third do is remove, is what we need to remove that from yeah. the header, right? We need to remove that, that register link. So nobody can register if they're not going to asking a question or to signing up as a contributor. Yes. So see, that, that's what I suggested, so like remove the sign in button from the top. But of course, that that's that's definitely discussion. Like well, a discussion so well, I mean, it, I I don't think it's that's the only solution. I mean, you could also leave the 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 button there, and then you know just ask a question, or you know just I don't know, make it a little bit more easy to understand. Because I think here it's still kind of uh, not very clear. I mean, in terms of UX, no. Well, that's yeah. I think yeah. Kadir's trying to map out because there's a many many flows here to consider. So which flows do we have? Do we have so we have, we have the all getting of these involved. flows here? These are right. the flows that we have. These are the actual ones on the page today. That's the one so I. The, so yeah. there are three flows, or how many? Four. There's four. Or or let's say there are four starting points, um, but uh, they converge on on uh, fewer uh, flows actually. That top one yeah. could be also from Google, or like you start on the forum. Uh, uh, by yes. top one, do you mean yes. the second one? Because there's one on the very top that's just two pages. Right. No, that's the one I'm talking oh, okay. about. Well, like, no, because that's clicking a link from the user's email. An email. Right. Which, well, you end you end up at the at the forum. Right. But when you click that email, um, actually, I I actually, I don't know. I shouldn't say anything. Guys, about we're that. already two minutes over, and I have to run. So. Uh, let's continue the discussion. So we'll have a look on the flows and figure out what the hell is going on, and then we can continue. So Rosanna, um, Madlina, I can set up a meeting with you so we can talk about this in more detail um, okay. and and see what else we can, what what the next steps should be about this. Um, right. And Michael, what I did was just uh, map out the intentional um, parts, like where you want to become a contributor. Right. right Those right. are all the places for that. Uh, but yes, there are more ways to actually get into the whole ecosystem from Google, yeah. from, from other pages. Yes, that's true. Okay. Um, all right. Thank you, everybody, for taking part in this um, uh, meeting. I think, yeah, for me, this was really interesting again. Um, and this is one of the things I definitely want to keep at the top of my list of the things to be working on. So thanks for contributing uh, here to the, uh, for, for discussing this. and. Um, yeah, I'll be sure to keep everybody up to date on the next steps for this one. So thank you for now, and talk to you again hopefully next week. Bye. Bye.